your body. Oh, camera's going a bit. There we go. Come on in, come in. Oh dear. Another gorgeous, gorgeous day. So this was yesterday. So here, let's flick this round. Let's do, so I'm going to do this page here. And I decided, because I'd spent most of the day in the garden, I was just going to add some flowers to it. I'm going to do this one tomorrow. And I know a lot of people worry about the shadows, so you'll see that tomorrow. But I'm just going to add some flowers. So here are some pre-stamped pages that I have. So I shall decide what's going where. Let's get this one. There are there are quite a few different um, sheets. So this, these are some of my latest stamps. They were either my last release or the one before. Um, if you're wondering what they were, so let's have this. One. And I think I'm just going to do a little, like a little owl shapey thing going like that. And I might have this up the top. I don't know. I'm just going to cut these out. Normally I would go to my box of cutouts, but they're up at the house and I'm down at the studio. So we're going to have to cut. So you're going to have to put up with me cutting. I hope everybody's having a lovely, lovely day wherever you are in the world so sorry about this having to watch me cut you can always speed me up a bit if you like or you can just watch me and listen to me spouting a load of nonsense as usual i like nonsense so i'm just gonna cut these and look how much quicker it makes the page when things are already stamped out. I do it all the time. Not often that I wait to see what I've got. Mind you, Emmy's still away. Emmy does most of my cutting out. So she's cut loads out, but she's miles away. So that's not going to help me, is it? Come back, Emmy. Come back. Oh, I can't wait. When she comes back, when you'll be able to see her. I haven't seen her for, gosh, about eight weeks. Um, it'll be lovely to see her, even from a distance. But she will also have a massive pile of cutouts, some stamps, some collage. Because if you're watching this, Emmy, I'm really sorry. I've nearly used everything up. I know. Sorry. <laughs> she loves cutting out. I love cutting out. I just don't get the time at the moment. So this is quite nice to do. So it's just because it's a beautiful day. So we will... I might rearrange these. I don't know. This is just what I was thinking off the top of my head. And I'm just going to keep it really simple and just add some flowers, colour them. And I think I'm just going to write in an English country garden. In an English country garden. What is that song? I can't think, but I've got it in my head at the moment. Do, 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 do. I can't think of it. In an English country garden. Right, I don't like that down there. Maybe well, I like that better. Hmm. <coughs> I think that's too big. I've got a smaller one. Do I have a smaller one? Oh, I have, I have one of these. <laughs> so in England, we're still very much on a lockdown. 
I'm not going anywhere. I went up to work, but there's nobody goes to work in the studio, in the shop. I went, as I told you yesterday, I went up to help Ben, but he was in one area picking orders. I was in another area sorting out all the distress. Let's pop these to one side. Oh, maybe I want some leaves. Oh, you see, I do with this. I'm gonna pop these to one side. Oh, I'll just get these leaves. I do like leaves. Leaves were some of my first stamps I ever um, designed. And I can't tell you how many different variations I've done since then. Maybe I should do some more leaves. Yeah, quite like that. Right, let's get let's get that down. Sticking. So my rule when sticking is you always do the underneath first. I'm going to start at the top and just stick that one down. I'm going to pop this in and everything always changes shape as you end up sticking things down. I might have to cut that petal off. Sorry petal, you might have to go. Do, do, do. I'll just trim whatever's hanging off down this side. Yeah. Leaves. If you want to know how to do borders and things like that, um, the online class one, Diane Reevely online class one is all about creating borders and how to pick your images and how to do it really quick and simply. Oh, let's just give it a roll. Down, turn it over and then I just trim up here anything that's hanging off the page there we go make sure it's all pressed down and then I'm going to outline everything oh Ooh, that's that pen I killed yesterday. I put it to one side to throw it, but didn't. I killed it with the glue. Oh, an aeroplane going over the top. That's an unusual sound these days. Actually, it might be a helicopter. Jay sent me a video yesterday of um, Betsy was in the garden and a plane flew above and she just started blowing kisses and waving and saying, uh, bye mama, bye mama, see you soon. Oh, broke my heart. She's not used to me going away. So, okay, here we go. So, um, I'm just going to write it up here. Somebody will tell me what the song was. In, oh, now I'm going to do it in my writing. In an 
English. It'll come to me in the middle of the night, won't it? People are always surprised um, that I like flowers because they think they're quite normal, but uh, I just love them. I love because the colour. So in an English country garden, and then I'm going to write here, I am just loving having the time to really appreciate my lovely garden. I so enjoy spending time in it. There we go. You see, you don't have to write anything um, profound. That's how I feel today, so that's what I'm writing. You know, people feel you've got to live this really exciting life. And we are. We are living such an exciting life at the moment. We are making history. We are living through something that is going to be talked about for years and years and years. It's going to be taught in schools uh, everywhere. How exciting is that? So when anybody says to me, oh, I have such a boring life. Get over it. This is so exciting, really. Somebody in years to come is going to read the words that you wrote through this time. And all they're going to get from me is songs when I can't remember the words to. Why is that sticking up? Ooh, I haven't stuck that down very well. Right, let's write the top bit here and I'm just going to put that um, If you were in the Distinctly Dilusions Class 1 on Mental Health Week I actually gave you tips on how to do this writing that and then I will rub it out I'm not seeing your comments on YouTube at the moment I don't know why it's not showing me any comments on anything so all your lovely comments are going Astray. I think Jane Emmy can see them, but I just can't see them. So if you could comment on the post as well, that would be really nice. I just don't know what's going on. Just got a little glitch at the moment. So I'll just colour it in in my black. And then I am going to colour in the flowers. So in the UK again, it's beautiful weather. I mean, that just makes such a difference, doesn't it? When the weather's nice. Apologies if you haven't got a, a garden that you can go. But we're allowed out now. I'm not going out. I'm not going anywhere. But um, if you live in a, a flat or something, you're actually allowed out now to go and sit and, you know, enjoy the sunshine. Um, I don't trust it. I'll let everybody else go out and I'll just sit here with you lot. I don't need to go out. You all come to me. 
Isn't that lovely? I am just going to have to build a bigger studio though if this continues because with social distancing etc it's getting a bit of a tight squeeze. There we go. I've missed doing the classes, but when I've got classes on a night, uh, doing the videos, but when I've got classes on a night, I do really run out of time. Um, so that's why I'm trying to do as many as I can this week before I start, because next week is Distinctly Dilusions 2. Um, and that's the week long class. That is the alphabet quote cards. If you get confused with the classes, the Diane Reevely online, they're the, the just one night, one off class. And the distinctly dilutions are the six night class. So the class goes over a period of six days. I'm having great fun in them because they are live. I have to do them up at the house down here, still not getting the Wi-Fi, so that's why I have to record these. But the live is fun. Nearly done. sit down here in this studio for hours. Marvellous! So now we're going to colour and of course we want some bright colours and we've got some pinks in here and things but I think I might put some purples. Yeah just to offset it I might put some purples and some like blue, some periwinkles, colours like that. Let's get those out there. Let's get those out there. Have a look. Where is uh, is that some that one work? Yep. I think I'm gonna have some blues and purples to offset the red background. Why not? This is Calypso teal, and it's a little bit watered down. I can tell because it's got a piece of washi tape on it. Normally these are just full strength, but. Um, Occasionally, I just want a bit of a paler colour without actually having to bring out a new spray. So I just add a bit of water to a brush. Okay, so I've got that there. I think we'll have these hearts. They can be in this same colour. If I put a colour once on a page, I always put it somewhere else as well. I want them to, you know, I want it all to um, look adhesive, to look cohesive, adhesive? I don't want it to look adhesive, goodness me. I want it to look sticky. I meant cohesive, there we go. So I'll just use the same colour in a few different places. So that's that one, now let's get, um, where is laid back lilac? Do, do, do. This is a pale laid back lilac. Let's have that. I'm not going to do too much shading in here because it's a small page. So I'm just going to use just the same colours through. I might go back later and add some shading with pencil crayons, but um, for now, I'm just going to put normal colours. There's a lot of detail in these stamps anyway. You don't always need shading in there. Put this on here. There we go. What colour shall we do now? Let's go over this way. Let's have a bright pink. Let's have this one's bubblegum. Gum. 
and um, you know if you don't have a lot of time you could have left this you could have just left it and then come back later and added your colour in whatever's good for you I'm going to put pink in these spots as well Can you hear the birds? It's so lovely. There's a lot of trees around my house, a lot. And um, so we always have lovely bird song. should we have now oh periwinkle I was gonna go for wasn't it let's have some periwinkle let's have that on here squeeze that it's, oh there we go periwinkle didn't want to come out Why not? We've got fairly blue flowers. Oh, I'm liking these combinations. What else should I have down here? Maybe a slightly different pink. Where is um, rose quartz? I'll have a pale pink in there. And a pale pink in there. Okay, so now we've got the stalks. So all those warms can go away. So, fresh lime, dirty martini, they're some of my favourite. Let's have this. I will put a bit of shading in here. I always put a bit of shading in leaves. So, fresh lime, let's just put a bit of... If you do it while it's wet, it will all blend through. And um, some down here. And then... And this one. And the little ones. And I'll just add a little bit of the dirty martini to it. There we go. I think, uh, but I don't know where they are. Um, I think they're up at the house. I think I'm going to outline this in a red pen, but it isn't here. So on the picture, you'll see that there. Okay, there you go. In an English country garden. Bye.